my channel. Today I'm doing a nine ways to fill your notebook slash journals. Um, before we get started though, I have a winner announcement for the giveaway I did last week. And the winner is Erin Jones. So I'll pop your name up on the screen now. And Erin, if you're watching this, please send me through an email. But I did read in the comments that you did send me a letter sometime in the last few weeks. So I'll, I'll go through all my letters and see if I can find yours to get your address. Um, so I'll be sending you through the Paper Lovers book. And another thing I just wanted to say before we get started was I read through all your comments. There was a lot of them. Um, and I didn't realise how many of you loved my P.O. Box opening videos. So I will bring that back. I won't cancel that out of 2018. Um, but I'll wait until I get a big pile of letters before I do another video. So let's jump right in and I'll show you nine creative ways to fill your notebook slash journals. So the first notebook journal idea, which is really simple, it's just a doodle one. So if you have a little notebook lying around or one that has blank pages, it's just really nice to have one that you can just draw down the images um, when you're drinking tea or when you're sitting around on the couch. And I thought having one of these little ones is really handy to have this size because I can chuck this one in my handbag and if I'm going out for the day, if I have a pen and a notepad, it's just really handy for um, ideas, notes, to-do lists, and little doodles is what I use for this one. So the next one is one I got from one of my subscribers. So thank you so much for this book. I love it. It's a 100 bucket list book. Now you can use any of your old notebooks or journals lying around to write your bucket list. Um, this one I actually wrote 2018 on the top because I want this one to be just 2018. So write a list 1 to 100 or 1 to, in my case I have 39 at the moment, and pop all the things you want to complete this year or over your whole lifetime, depending on how long you want it. Um, and then on the next pages you can put little Polaroids, this has actually got spaces for you to do specific things, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to write um, the activity and then I'm going to put a little Polaroid and then just do a little date and time kind of thing. So this is a really good book but you can also make a journal into your bucket journal book or notepad or whatever you want to call it. So yeah, if you have a Polaroid camera it'd be nice just to document um, all the things you do when you cross off your bucket list activities. So my next journal is a life happiness journal and basically this one's different to the rest because I really put a lot of effort into it, designing it, um, writing lists and creating things that um, hopefully I'll have a lifetime of quotes, inspirational things that make me happy, images that might make me happy, um, books that I've read over time that I've really loved, so it's just things, it's like lists and um, collages of things that really just make me happy and are meaning more f meaningful to my life. Now, my next one is one that I absolutely love doing because I love scrapbooking. And again, I've got this on my, um, I've got each page that I've done this one documented in my journal playlist. So this is just a scrapbook of places I've been to or at like fun weekends I've had. So this was like a camping trip. This was just down at the lake near Narrabeen. Um, I think this was just a weekend away. It was a long weekend road trip and then this was my Japan trip scrapbooking so this was autumn in Japan so yeah this is just basically a um, travel and adventure scrapbook so anytime I go on a fun adventure or go traveling I will fill this in with collages so I love this book so much and I hope I can get that completely filled one day um, the next one or the next two are Travel journals. So this one here is my travel journal to Japan and I've got, again, on my journal playlist I've got this one documented in detail if you want to see it. Um, but basically this one is kind of like a um, like an itinerary slash collage of my trip. So I've got like the flight numbers, dates, everything I need, like a little maps to go to places. Um, house rules because I stay in Airbnb, um, all the little hotels and um, places I stayed at, so all their addresses, um, yeah, travel lists, like shopping lists, I collected stamps along the way, um, I also collected some really cute washi tape and 
At the back here are also some autumn leaves. <laughs> autumn leaves that I um, pressed in the back. So I've got a whole bunch of beautiful leaves in there as well from my trip. So yeah, this one's just like a an everything journal, I guess you could say. This is one that I kept on me at all times because it had all my like emergency contact details and everything in. So this one's just really handy to keep and um, just add little things as you go as you adventure. This one here is sort of similar. This one was when I went to Nepal, except this one has um, more writing in it. So this one I pretty much sat down probably every second night and wrote like a little log of my day. And I wish I did this for Japan, but because in Japan I actually filmed most of my days. I didn't really need to log everything, but if you're doing a trip that you know you're not going to be doing a lot of filming or taking a lot of photographs, writing um, your little log for the day is really brilliant because I've got some really cool things in here. Um, like I went to Nepal 20, 2014? Yeah, 2014 I went for a month and it was my first big over trees. It was my first big overseas trip I did by myself, so it was really cool to have all these logs down because I read it recently. It was just really nice to read over what I did. So um, I'll read one to you because I just thought it was really cool that I um, logged this four years ago. So I just arrived in Kathmandu and it took me 14 hours to get here. I made it through the first flight really well because I was sitting next to a girl from Australia. The second flight was not so good because I was extremely tired. When I arrived I got my visa and went outside to get a lift to my home for the next month but no one was there and I've got like a sad face. I was so scared and worried I got ripped off because I booked it online. Um, then someone asked me if I was from IFRE and I became so happy. They took me to the car and I waited there for half an hour for the man to get back. It's about 30 degrees outside and I'm... S what does it say? And I'm stinking, sneaking like a pig. Smelling like a pig! <laughs> I'm smelling like a pig. I'm currently staying in a hotel in the largest town in Kathmandu. It's still 30 degrees so I'm going to have a cold shower after my long trip. Yeah, so I woke up and I was, um, I think I wrote this, yeah, when I got to the hotel, but when I arrived at the airport, there was no one there, and I booked everything online through this online company. I hadn't talked to anyone, it wasn't anything to do with Australia, so I was really worried because um, Nepal can be a little bit dodgy at times, so yeah, waiting for someone for like half an hour to come pick me up from the airport, and then waiting in the car for half an hour for them to get back because they went back into the airport. I was like, oh my god, I'm being scared, but it ended up being fine, but I'm glad I'm having those logs. The next one and the final one is a bit different to my other ones. This, this is actually a um, notebook that I had when I was really young. Um, I don't really want to show anything inside because it's very personal, but basically this was just my everyday journal when I was about 13, 14, maybe. Um, it was really simple, it would just be like, I would just write passages sometimes of things when I had like an emotional day. It wasn't so much journaling like everyday journaling, like deep diary kind of journaling, but it was things like um, what would life be like in 20 years time or um, moments throughout the week that really were emotional for me or like bands that I liked. Um, I've got like lyrics, <laughs> lyrics that I liked when I was a teenager. Like this page literally is just like scribbles and like words written all over it. So I think one day I probably had a bad day, uh, like I got sad faces in here and just words written all over it. So I, I think this was just a book I picked up when I just wanted to get things off my mind or when I had like an emotional day or when I wanted to document quotes or lyrics that meant something to me when I was a teenager. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what journals you have, um, what some creative ideas you might have for me. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next few days. Bye.